Hey, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Whitney and I'm a fragrance and flavor enthusiast. Here on my channel, we mostly explore fragrances, but I sometimes like to throw in other content here and there just for fun. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has viewed, liked, commented, shared, and subscribed. So today, I just wanted to share the smell goods that I got for my birthday last month and no long talking, let's just get into it. <laughs> okay, so first up I have something from Le Chatelaine and this is a hand wash and hand lotion set that my brother got me. So super, super, super fancy, super fancy. So I got um, hand wash in the scent Sweet Almond and it came in a matching hand lotion in the same fragrance, beautiful packaging, super pretty frosted glass with beautiful illustrations and typography gorgeous let me let y'all actually see it without blocking it yeah super pretty so now it does come on a like a soap dish like a marble soap dish so i'm super excited to put this in my bathroom once it gets renovated and make it all fancy up but yeah super beautiful smells fantastic i was already thinking as soon as i like well i smelled the hand lotion first and when i smelt it i was just like already thinking okay so when this runs out which it will <laughs> i gotta make sure i have the refills of these products because they smell great and i'm also intrigued by what else this house carries so yes so next up i have a scented gift from my parents and this is a candle from nest and this is in the scent rose noir and oud which is super exciting because even without me telling them or even expressing to anyone um i was thinking like, you know, it'd be nice to have an oud candle and here we go. That's just how it works, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is a beautiful scent. This is my first nest candle, super cute packaging and love again with the frosted glass, but in the stripes, very nice. And you see engraved at the bottom, if you kind of see the nest. So yeah, super pretty, super potent. Ooh, this is like, this is, this is oud. This is definitely oud, which makes me realize I've definitely smelled oud when I thought I did in fragrances. <laughs> but yeah, this is beautiful. It's floral with rose, which is one of my favorite uh, flowers. And then it has that smoky, earthy depth to it that comes with the oud. This is so good. <laughs> Sexy, mysterious. Mm. Yeah, this is sexy candle right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ooh, they actually, I just realized now they have um, some info on the back. Oh yeah, let me read this to y'all, hold on. So the description of Rose Noir and Oud says, captivating Rose de Mai is blended with smoky Oud, a hint of incense, black leather and patchouli to create a sultry aroma. They didn't lie about that. This is fantastic. Ooh, ooh. I, okay, it's a little, it's a little intoxicating and a little heady, but so good. This is, this, this is like, I would burn this for extremely special occasions, yes. <laughs> so the last two smell goods that I have to share with you are actually ones that I purchased for myself for my birthday, and which actually works perfectly. I don't expect anyone to buy me perfume as a gift, just because I don't expect people to know what it is that I want unless I explicitly tell them. And I also feel like sometimes I like to give perfume because I think I have a good idea of like what people like, but I don't know, when it comes to me receiving perfume, I feel like now that I've gotten so deep into fragrance, it's like, <laughs> I don't know, I guess I don't expect most people in my life to get me but clearly i mean my family knows me at least a little bit because the ones the smell goods that they got me do smell really good and they actually suit me perfectly so i don't know if any of that even is relevant maybe i don't know point is the next two fragrance the next two smell goods that i have for you are perfumes that i purchased for myself for my birthday so first up, I have, like I mentioned before, a fragrance that was actually on my Christmas wish list, and I will link the video up above. And the fragrance I'm talking about is J. 
Jo Malone wood sage and sea salt so here I have the one fluid ounce which is um sm ow, small <laughs> but I feel like you know cat hair is just gonna cat hair isn't it I feel like this is I you know I was between this and I think they have it in like a 3.4 fluid ounce and I was evaluating the size of my collection and knowing that I'm not, I want to have fragrances in my collection that I use up. I don't necessarily want things to stay in my collection forever. And I definitely don't want anything to go bad in my collection. So I decided to just pick this one up and they were actually running a sale at the store that I got it on, got it from locally. So yeah, it was, it was a good deal. It was a good deal. And it was also in the scent that I have wanted to have in like, actually have in my collection like i went through a full sample size of this i have a, a perfume oil dupe of this as well and it was like now's the time i've been wanting this forever and now i have it and i'm super happy and the perk of actually getting joe malone scents from like a joe malone boutique is that you get the beautiful packaging so you get it in like a beautiful gift box with a pretty ribbon and what I like is that it felt super special because it comes in like, you know, a cute box all wrapped up and stuff. And I've been considering just like, I don't keep boxes, but this is one that I'm prepared to keep. <laughs> and this is probably the longest I've kept a, a perfume box it like around post purchase. So yeah, there's something just special and I think just the significance of me getting it for myself when I did and just the fact that it's a color scheme that I really do fancy. So yeah, so the cologne I got is Wood Sage and Sea Salt. So the last perfume that I purchased for myself for my birthday was Prada La Femme and this is the Eau de Parfum formulation and I guess the story behind me getting this was this was another fragrance that was on my wish list for quite a while. I remember smelling it last year and falling in love with it. I was actually in the market for a soapy, clean, expensive smelling scent. And when I smelled this scent for the first time, I was just like, perfect. And I feel like just it being like a kind of tropical smelling scent too, just fits me and my Mm, scent aesthetic, I guess you could say. I'm partial to tropical smelling scents. Perhaps you can blame it on the region I live in and where I'm from, but yeah. So I ended up getting this and dee -dee. Um, so this is the, I'm pretty sure this is a 1.7. Yeah, this is the 1.7 fluid ounce. So again, the color of the bottle and the juice and everything is just like right up my alley with the white and gold and I actually ended up getting this from a pharmacy a local pharmacy they were running a promotion on Prada scents and they were 30% off and I was like hmm this may be my cue this may be my cue because I think I was like I think I was kind of like debating whether or not to get this because I knew like I saw it in stores locally for full price and I do think it's a really nice scent but I knew I could get it for a bread a better price elsewhere so I'm glad that I waited until this mysterious promotion came on because it was like okay yeah totally this is this is this is appropriate I, I can do this but it smells so friggin good to me like so good I mean I've had it for less than a month and you could see this was like practically full. I can see me running through this before. Definitely, definitely in the summer, kill the scent. Because it's like, like I said, it's a fresh, clean smelling soapy scent that doesn't smell heavy. But on me, this actually lasts very well. I know there's been some, I've seen some complaints about the longevity and the performance of this scent, but honestly on me, I've had no issues. And, oh, it just smells so good. It's just like feminine, clean smelling, beautifulness. 
And yeah, I could see me wearing this for a multitude of occasions. It's just this, oh, dare I say, potentially signature scent worthy. I said it, I said it. And I did smell the, um, the intense version of this fragrance and it smelled, it pulled like, it pulled like, hmm, urine on my skin and I was appalled. <laughs> and once it dried down a lot more, I did like it, but it just didn't compare to the feelings that were evoked smelling the original formulation. And I am so glad that I have the scent. I've worn this, this is probably one of the few, I mean, obviously I have like a dent in it, right? So I've definitely been reaching for this a lot, like, and not, I've not been tired of it. So I can only imagine what I'm about to do with this scent as the weather heats up even more than it already is. Like as the spring and summer approach, I'm just, yeah, this, this is gonna get worn. This is gonna get worn. <laughs> So before we wrap up today, I thought it would be fun to just share the scents that I wore on my birthday. So during the day, I ended up wearing the Jo Malone um, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I went to brunch with my mom and I thought it was perfect. We were outdoors dining and it just smelled beautiful on me and it kind of worked with the whole theme I was going for, which is very much airy, light, and fancy <laughs> and my original plan was actually to do my birthday cake hygiene routine on my actual birthday and i'll link that video up above of me doing my whole birthday cake scented shower routine so what ended up happening was i didn't get my items in time so i had to film that video a little later but it ended up working out because that day i was just like it was a busy day, but I did end up going out that night and I knew I wanted to wear something that felt like a uh, clubby, dancey, outdoorsy, fun, and very loud. Um, we were gonna be uh, partying outside and I knew I wanted something that was gonna be strong, projecting, and also leave an impression and I ended up taking kind of a risk in the sense of choosing two kind of loud scents to layer together. <laughs> and what I ended up wearing was my, um, so I have a decant and a travel size in the fragrances that I'm talking about. So I ended up wearing Rasasi La Yukawam Jasmine Wisp. And I have this in a decant and I ended up wearing this and I ended up layering it with my Angel Nova from Mugler. And I have this in the travel size. I have no idea why I keep the box, but I guess I kind of do really like the color. So yeah, so this is a travel size of, I was just about to smell it, but let me tell you why I'm hesitant. So I, I have the box still for the scent. Now, <laughs> these are two very beautiful scents, right? and very loud and projecting. I feel like the Angel Nova projects because there's like a chemical aroma in here, like aroma chemical in here, maybe like, I don't know if it's Ambroxan, but it might be, that makes it not only last very long, but also project way beyond arm's length. And this is, I this was my first time wearing it out to party and before I even wore it out, I had already just decided that this was like my party scent or one of them when I smell it for the first time in stores, just because of its juicy fruitiness and it's like almost freshness and it's loudness. <laughs> and I also wore the Jasmine Wisp because it's again has that fruity vibe to it and it's quite loud and strong and projects, projects, projects project oh gosh projects quite far so i was like okay cool i can do this and these are like well particularly jasmine wisp has like that scent profile that i really adore just like that fresh flu fluty floral whoa fresh fruity floral <laughs> that's loud and sweet and yeah i really like that scent profile 
So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it for my birthday, you know, be loud and, you know, announce my presence. And um, it was a great night. I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um, drank a lot, a lot, so much, so much. And it got to the point where I was like, when I got home and did my best to like, you know, uh, retire for the evening and all I could smell was the combination of the Jasmine Wisp and the Angel Nova. And I'm just like, I was like absolutely repulsed, <laughs> like disgusted and like turned off completely. Right. And the next day as I was pretty much like recovering, um, I could still smell the fragrances like emanating from the clothes I'd worn the night before. And I was like absolutely disgusted and like, just like, I just didn't want anything to do with these two scents. I really didn't. I was like, so that's it. Now I can't wear them ever again. <laughs> and I tried to smell them like, um, the day after and I was like, <laughs> like yuck, yuck. So I'm gonna try to smell them now and see if I'm still like disgusted. I don't think I am. I think I've, I've, I feel a little bit queasy right now, but I think I'm, I'm okay, let me smell it. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> so now the, this scent is only associated with partying, but the good side of partying. <laughs> and then we have Angel Nova. Okay, this one actually, I feel like this one is what I smelled the most throughout the night. And I'm not, not off put by this. I may end up like um, wearing them for different occasions to kind of reassign the association I have with these two scents. <laughs> but I think now that I've smelt it again just now, I feel like the Angel Nova really stood out the most and during the evening. And I feel like um, what I really liked was the fact that I was able to smell myself. I feel like that is important for me to be able to smell my fragrance that I'm wearing. And I knew no one there smelled like me. And that's important to me, that is important to me. And if you're a fragrance lover like me, you get it, you get it. <laughs> So that's everything for me today, guys. I'm so glad that I got to share with you all the smell goods that I experienced for my birthday. Um, yeah, I, I'm i glad that I could smell the fragrances that I wore to party in today and not gag. That is, that is an improvement. I'm telling you, that is an improvement. <laughs> So if you have an upcoming birthday, let me know what scent you would love to get for your birthday, as well as what scent you imagine you would be wearing for your birthday. I am curious. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you later. Bye. La Chatelain. Oh. Len? Le ch la ch oh. La Chatelain. Okay. So first up, I have a hand set So first up, I have something from Le Chatelain. Chatel I already. La Chatelaine. 
So first up, I have something from Le Chatelain. Le Chatelain. How do you say it? Le Chatelain. La Chatelaine. La Chatelaine. Dab, dab, dab. But what ended up happening? Whoops. 